My most recent video, uh, the 2001 Space Odyssey video, that's about as uh, it's about as nerdy and deep divey and analytical and artsy fartsy as you can get in a in a YouTube talking about movies analysis type thing. So now I'm thinking I'm going to do the exact opposite and talk about a movie that is filled with just the most ridiculous macho, just machine gun wielding characters ever. Um, <laughs> let's, let's, I want to talk about Den of Thieves for a second. This is going to be another rare recommendations video, or that's the playlist that I'm going to throw it into. Because again, I just made the 2001 A Space Odyssey video, and that took like so many hours to edit. These are easy. <laughs> I'm just going to churn them out, which I guess the, the quality of video essay I provide for the corresponding movies is representative of the amount of time and care the directors for the respective movies puts into crafting the movies themselves. But yet, honestly, D Den of Thieves isn't that bad. That That's what I want to talk about here, because this movie got terrible reviews. It got terrible reviews. The reason that I watched it is because it had terrible reviews. I thought it was going to be like a laughably bad, stupid movie. And the other reason that I watched it, which honestly kind of relates to my first reason, is that it had 50 Cent in it because I, I fucking love 50 Cent. Like I, I don't like his music that much. Clearly, I don't listen to that much rap music, but I, I just like him as a person. I love just how few fucks he gives, how he's the real deal, how he's, how he's been, he, he is the person that like was shot nine times or whatever, like being a drug dealer in the past, but like he's also someone that will like get a hold of his enemy's baby mama's sex tape and commentate over it wearing a weird wig even though he knows it's totally a crime and get sued and completely lose all of his money. But, but not back down the entire time. Like, he could have just not done that, or he could have probably just said he was sorry, but he didn't. He just, he stuck to his guns, and he lost all of his, like, I love him. I love him. So I see him in this ridiculous fucking cops and robbers movie, and Gerald Butler is playing, like, a crooked cop, and he's fat and just, like, ridiculous. I'm like, oh, this, just, this is going to be hilariously bad. This is going to be beautiful. But it turns out that it's, it's, it's just good. It, it's just straight up good. It's it's even great. Now it's not perfect. Like it tries to be Michael Mann's Heat, and it's 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 not Michael Mann's Heat, mainly because it, it's not starring Robert De Niro and uh, Al Pacino. It's <laughs> it's starring Fat Gerald Butler and Fifty Cent, <laughs> which I think is better. I honestly think it's better. Honestly, the story is better than Heat. The story in this, as like ridiculous and macho-y and kind of like silly as it comes off at times, the story is very good. It, it's a heist movie. You see the team of criminals doing their thing, trying to uh, steal stuff. And then you see the team of cops doing their stuff to try and stop them. The whole time, like, it's it, it's debatable which group is worse. Because Gerald Butler's crooked. He's, he does drugs and he cheats on his wife. And his wife is leaving him and his life's falling apart. And he's a, he's a scumbag who beats up people. And, and it's, it's great. It's a great character study on a cop like that. And I think it's awesome for Gerald Butler to play something like that. He's not like this perfectly in shape, you know, leader, you know, Leonidas, fucking mythological perfect human. He's the exact opposite of that. He is a shitty, shitty person and he acts the fuck out of it. It's amazing. The plan and everything for this heist, it's like, it's Ocean's Eleven levels of intricate and it's that elaborate, except it's not all glossy and fancy and shiny and it's, you know, the, the, the criminals that are acting this out, the felons aren't George Clooney and Brad Pitt and Matt Damon fucking cracking jokes. These are like, they're like retired military dudes who know how to use assault rifles and understand explosives and they're just fucking, they're, they're just badasses. And in a way, it's realistic. The shootouts are realistic. The characters are realistic. Like, it's, it's honestly a good movie. I, I don't understand why it's getting so much hate. I, I really, I don't understand why it has such a low score on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, I, I think it's really good. I'd like to think that I know what a decent movie is, or at least an idea of what a decent movie is, and I'm, I'm sorry, but this is fucking good. I don't understand why people aren't talking about this. Like, most modern, gritty, you know, action-y, drama, cop versus robbers, crime movies, they're shit. They're, they're absolute shit. And this isn't. It's good. Everything about it is good. But oh, okay, okay, on to Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see what Rotten Tomatoes says about this. All right, so Mike from The Guardian says, 
it often resembles a men's rights bonding weekend more than it does a movie. <laughs> I'm tempted to say that the prissy, whiny, theatery, Hollywood elite journalists, movie critics people have a problem with machismo. <laughs> if I were to diagnose the situation of why this movie got terrible reviews only using this one little review left on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm going to assume that's why. Because there is a lot of machismo. But the thing is, it doesn't glorify it. Like, this isn't Conan the Barbarian or Predator. Like, there's there's no Schwarzenegger in this movie. It's fat scumbag being a bad husband doing drugs Gerald Butler versus murderers. Like, this isn't committing the fucking ultimate modern Hollywood sin of attempting to project some masculine ideal. There's no masculine ideal here. It's the opposite of that. Like, it just... I don't know, watch the movie for yourself and tell me if I'm crazy or not, because I'm pretty sure this is a good movie. It, actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is a great movie. What I'm certain of is that 50 Cent is awesome, okay? Watch this for 50 Cent. He's just, it's, God, it's great. Did you, did you see the, the, what he did with the Rick Ross thing? I fucking, oh, I love him. God damn it, I love him.